Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Dr. Ghost and today we are going to be taking a look at the upcoming update for World of Warships Legends, the Christmas update. That's right, for the month of December, United Strength, new update overview. So we're going to watch the trailer first and then we will go in depth into the patch notes as well, which I have pulled up over here, okay? So... Before we get into the patch notes, before we get into all the good stuff, uh, we are going to check out the trailer. Now, what I would like to remind you guys to do is to go down there and hit that like button because, uh, well, this is going to be a bit longer. Uh, this is going to be a little bit of a longer video today, I'm sure. Lots of stuff coming in the next update. And, uh, well, it is greatly appreciate, uh, appreciated, uh, the support. Also, hit that subscribe button as well if you're new to the channel. And nonetheless, let's go ahead and watch the trailer together, shall we? Ahoy, Captain! Brace yourself for the tidal wave of content crashing in with this update. It's so big, you might just find yourself swept away. We've got holiday events with many gifts and presents, a new calendar, brawl and ranked modes, and of course, a bunch of brand new ships to set your holiday mood. This holiday season, let's spread cheer together. We want to share gifts with our dedicated captains, and you get to decide how many. Like this video, and the number of likes will determine the number of activations for our special holiday code, which will be revealed as soon as the update arrives. Cool. Okay. Help us make the holidays merrier for every- Well, I did already hit the like button on their video, so, you know, you know me, I like free shit, so. <laughs> Everyone, let's embark on this exhilarating journey together to guide you through all the thrilling news It will bring you tons of fun on winter holidays. As an appetizer, prepare to feast your eyes on the main reward of our new campaign, the legendary Commonwealth cruiser, Brisbane. Oh my, so the Australians are getting a new ship, or the Commonwealth line. So this would be the second common, or third Commonwealth ship. We already got HMS, or HMAS Vampire, we've got HMAS Perth, and now we're getting HMAS Brisbane, which is a Minotaur. It's basically a Minotaur, but it's Australian, and it just... Yeah, this thing on PC is pretty dirty, and it's going to be the campaign ship. That's right, it's going to be the campaign. So I'm actually really intrigued. Despite me not being a big fan of Legendary tier, I do love playing Minotaur. So you know me, I kind of like this. I kind of like E. This beauty boasts a lightning-fast reload and HE shells, igniting fires on enemy ships before they even get a chance to fight back. Moreover, she has 20 torpedo tubes, and the opponents won't have a chance to escape. The <laughs> that sounds so broken. Even Wargaming, the way they were narrating it. 20 torpedoes, and they won't even have a chance to escape. And she also has HE too? Oh god, this thing sounds disgusting. Radar is there to ensure... And it has radar. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> sure it. She can also quickly heal herself in battle thanks to her repair party consumable. There you go. Does she have smokes? I wonder. Your journey is stacked with rewards, including ice crowns, the holiday event currency, to deck out your Christmas and New Year gifts with Harold B. Farncomb, available for those who acquire the Admiralty backing. Set sail and claim the treasures that await you. Hold on to your Santa hat, because everything in this update is designed for you to enjoy new content on your winter holidays. Witness the grand entrance of the battleships Ohio and Anhalt. Both of these two vessels are... Oh yeah, lots of things coming. Lots of things coming this update. Mmm, love it. Floating fortresses, but for very different tactics to use. Great HE shells of the Anhalt and her 15 guns allow you to set everyone on fire from the furthest corner of the map. Oh boy, that's exactly what we need. <laughs> oh, that's exactly what we need. More fires <laughs> from the furthest corner of the map. Why does Wargaming want people to do that? Come on. And make a final shot using- Oh, she's got swiggly torpedoes. Her outstanding- Look at that. She's got swiggly torpedoes. I thought that was a British exclusive. I guess not. Not anymore. <laughs> God. Oh boy. Powerful torpedoes, while Ohio, armed with some of the most colossal guns, is very useful in mid-range battles with her great HP pool and fast repairability. Acquire these magnificent ships during the festive event and stay tuned for updates that promise an electrifying holiday season. We're not stopping there. Two national ship branches are expanding with tier 6 and 7 additions in early access. So we did cover that in the uh, live stream I did not too long ago. 
So there's some new alternative French cruisers and some new and some new Fr uh, destroyers for the Germans that are coming. Alternative lines and there's two tech trees coming. There's two completely new tech trees coming to the game in this one update, and it will be an early access. So yeah, really looking forward to it. Lots of content coming, and we're only two minutes in. Lots of ships. Like to see it. Meet the formidable destroyers Z-31 and Gustav Julius Merker from Germany and the large cruisers Toulon and Cherbourg from France. Surprise your opponents with imp- Yeah, basically in the video I covered these, uh, these are basically like super cruisers. They got battleship sized guns, 305s. Uh, they're pretty nice. Uh, on PC as well, they're pretty dirty. So I'm kind of looking forward to it. I'm not going to lie. I, I really am. Even the DDs I'm probably going to try out too, of course. So, yeah, lots of potential ships to cover in the next update. Impressive gunnery capabilities. You can get these ships either through a crate, which you can get as one of the campaign, ranked, or brawl rewards, or the random bundle system. Okay, so... Yeah, so like early access always is, you guys will be able to obtain those through crates, as always. And if you don't get any, you can always wait until the next update. They'll release them out in full access. Give you a chance to obtain any of these four ships, so give it a try. For our experienced captains, we prepared a new round of Brawl Seasons. Engage in three versus three battles with destroyers and cruisers at tiers six and seven. And for those craving a greater challenge, buckle up for three new seasons of ranked five versus five battles, spanning from tier five to seven throughout December. It's the perfect opportunity to test the metal of your new ships, and may the best captain triumph. Now on to the main course. A huge variety of holiday content will be available this update, including Commander G Oh god, I just saw Lennon. I just saw Lennon in a container. Uh-oh. Course. A huge variety of holiday content will be available this up. That's a Lennon. So Lennon's gonna be in Santa containers? Oh god. Date, including Commander Guises, Craig. That's a good thing though. I guess people who want a wallet warrior their way to victory, if you missed out on the Lennon, well now is your time to pull out your credit card and smack down a mortgage on this game. <laughs> ships and skins with everyday prizes awaiting in the advent calendar oh advent calendar so you get a crate get some stuff cool cool calendar stay tuned for more details in the upcoming it's an ultimate crate so open a chance to receive a tier seven or tier five through eight premium ship special winter or rare ships okay cool cool special holiday video the excitement is worth the wait for those who fell in love with the snowy white ships last year, rejoice! They're back, gracing four new ships. Ensign got bold, Gupard, Nelson, and Kutuzov. There we go. Okay, we covered that also not too long ago. Awesome. It's a new uh, W ships. Cool. With that irresistibly fresh, chilly look, dive into the store for all the details. Besides, don't forget to check out the new themed card collection. All right, so we got another card collection. Awesome. It's the only way to get the winter version of Ensign Gabolde. The Gabolde. Everybody loves the Gabolde. <laughs> Do you guys remember back when the Gabolde was like stupid broken? Oh my god, those were the days. But wait, there's more. Surprises and delightful news abound in this update. From technical enhancements to previous content returning and exciting new content, there's an abundance packed into this update. The Jura? Never heard of it. Eight. Make sure to dive into the patch notes via the link in the description. Remember to like this video to get more activations for the free code hidden in the next one. And hit that notification bell to ensure you don't miss our special holiday video. The festivities have just begun, and you won't want to miss a moment. So stay warm and turn the tide. Alrighty. So, there it is. That's the trailer. Let's go ahead and read the patch notes now. So, the holiday update. Waves of Presence. Maintenance times for Xbox and PlayStation are both uh, on December 11th, 2 o'clock to 5 a.m. Central, 7 to 10 a.m. UTC. The update size for Xbox One S and X is around 4,300 megabytes. The, the, uh, the update size for Series S and X is around 4,400 megabytes. Update size for PS4, 4,300. Update size for PS5, 800. Update size for mobile, 1,000. Um, to 845 megabytes. I don't really know about mobile stuff. All right. Holiday update. Waves of presents. Holiday update. So a uh, little TLDR here. Um, we got holiday frenzy, special uh, free gift bundle, new theme ships, commander guises, and more. United, uh, United Strength campaign with legendary tier Brisbane as the final prize. Advent calendar rewarding the king of winter guys 
holiday traditions, a card collection, new, uh, two new early access lines, aka the French cruisers and the German destroyers, ranked and brawl seasons spanning the whole update, and more content. Okay, so you guys can redeem this code right here, CH5MD. Uh, 9DJHTC. You guys can come over to the site, redeem the code here, and you guys can uh, get access to 12 holiday camouflages. So there you go. All right, so holiday goods. It's the most wonderful time of the year, getting rewards and presents, except the ladies' f uh, favor bundle, brought to you by the Lady of the Cold and Queen of the Deep themselves, available for free in the store and including crates, camouflages, and more revolves around earning the event currency Ice Crowns, which unlocks such, uh, such items as powerful premium battleships Ohio and Anhalt, the beautiful lady of the Cold Qu and Queen of the Deep Commander Guises, Holiday Collection 24 crates, more on them later, and more. Okay, so the main event currency is going to be these little Ice Crowns, and you guys can buy the Ohio or the Anhalt with them, or Commander Guises. I don't know why you'd buy a Commander Guise, though. Everybody would probably buy an Ohio. Or an on halt. We'll we'll see. Uh, we got some more advent calendar stuff. Uh, you do get it looks like a guy's king of winter, which looks fucking badass. There's no other way of putting it. He looks badass as hell. You get an insignia. You get a crate as well. Lots of stuff that are they're giving out. Uh, this year's ice wave event, uh, ice waves advent calendar will provide you with a flurry of prizes each day, and there are three bigger weekly rewards. Uh, with the final one being the King of Winter guys. Uh, suitable for all nations, commanders. So there you go. He, you can put this guy on every single uh, commander. doesn't matter what nation. So there you go. You'll have two extra weeks to complete the calendar in full, with missed days available to recover for 100 doubloons each. The details will be unveiled in an article dropping tomorrow. Please note that uh, this feature is not available in the mobile versions of Legends as of yet. However, mobile players will have access to a chain of missions that lead to the same weekly rewards as the calendar. Okay, there you guys go. So at least you guys can still get the rewards. You just don't have the advent calendar yet. So you guys will get some missions, I guess. United Strength Campaign. The legendary tier cruiser Brisbane, our first Commonwealth legendary ship, is here. She arrives to serve as the crown jewel. Of the uh, of the five week 100 milestone campaign with catch up mechanic enabled and active, Brisbane brings uh, to the fray her multiple torpedoes, high rate of fire and solid concealment, as well as the repair party and radar consumables. Uh, go get her now. Okay, there you go. I'm kind of intrigued. Basically, a uh, Australian uh, Minotaur. So there you go. United Strength Campaign. So uh, here's the rewards you get without Admiralty backing, which uh, totals up to 13,500 doubloons. And here's all the rewards you get with Admiralty backing, which brings you a total of 8,850 doubloons. And this only costs you $10. That's it. For $10, you get a legendary tier ship. You get a bunch of other things too. Crates, ice crowns, you name it, you're getting it. So many rewards for only 2,500 dubs. If you guys are wondering what to spend your money on, this is the area to do it. Always buy the campaigns. Do the uh, Get the Admiralty backing, log in every week, do your weekly Havocs, progress through the campaign, and get lots of rewards. It's the best bang for your buck in the game. The Holiday Port London is coming. Okay, so there you go. This is not going to be available on the uh, mobile, uh, mobile version, though, unfortunately for you guys. Hey, look it. By the way, it's the Tower of London back there. There you go. <laughs> Gotta love it. That's a nice sight to see. <laughs> Holiday Traditions Collection. Some more card bundles. Here we go. The newest collection comprises 12 cards that depict the various holiday traditions of different navies. Prizes included, of course, collect all the cards to receive the special winter version of the EN Gobolde. So there you go. Brawl and Ranked 5 Seasons. During this update, you'll get to enjoy two new seasons of Brawls and three uh, seasons of Ranked Brawls, or Ranked Battles, not Brawls. So five competitive seasons in total to get stuck into. We'll provide more information in a dedicated article on December 12th, which is co uh, coincidentally the day the first Ranked Season starts. Okay. Early Access, Doubling Up. This update features two ship branches in Early Access, French Navy... Uh, heavy cruiser and German Navy alternative destroyers. Two ships are available per branch, with one more coming for each line in the next update. As usual, dedicated article coming soon. Okay. 
winter ships of the update. So uh, you'll be able uh, you'll be able to pick up the exclusive winter versions of the tier six British premium battleship Nelson, Soviet tier seven premium light cruiser Kutuzov, French tier five premium destroyer Gepard. Oh, so the Gepard, the tech tree is getting its own premium winter. Okay, uh, in the store during this update. French destroyer N. Gabolde W uh, further reinforces this trio as she's the ultimate prize for the uh, tradition uh, the collection. There you go. Okay. Mobile. So you can now adjust your graphic settings while previously uh, they were assigned automatically. We've also further improved our battle UI, implementing uh, features such as turret view option, projectile view option, improved detection UI, and ribbons. So you guys over on the mobile version will be getting some new stuff. I'm sure you guys will be greatly appreciative of new map okay so new map uh scandinavia was added for battles uh with ships of tier five and higher try it now so no um so no uh operations okay so this is just going to be a standalone map that's unfortunate that's unfortunate but uh, hey what can you do okay uh bug fixes all platforms skilled dis uh description for burn it down xxl is now correct okay Console, some camouflage descriptions with incorrect stats have now been fixed. Okay. Mobile, battles at the helm of Charleston M will now count uh, count correctly towards certain missions that require premium ships. Okay. Other, you can now view uh, ship stats in the bureau before starting a project. That's nice. That's nice. So you actually get to take a look at the ships you're researching in the bureau. That's cool. Okay. Uh, British Commander John Fisher has been added... Uh, to the possible drop. So if you guys have missed out on John Fisher, John Fisher is an absolutely phenomenal captain for British battleships or even British battle cruisers. Of course, that's what he's mainly for. He's great. So you guys will be able to actually pick him up now. Havoc coins have been converted into credits. 1,500 for each coin. Okay. Firing angles for Nelson and Ngebolde, including their W versions, have been improved. Okay, nice. And uh, added... A AA defense modification for uh, to Atlantico's fourth slot. Alrighty, so happy holidays and turn the tide. So yeah, big update coming. I mean, I wouldn't say big, but it is pretty good size. Some new ships. We got some new uh, uh, things we can do. So there you go. Uh, lots of stuff coming in the next update. So yeah, I think we covered most of everything. If you go to the news, I don't think there's anything else I put in here. Have they? Uh, no? Alright, so that's it. So yeah, if you guys did enjoy today's video, be sure to go down there and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. If you guys are excited, let me know your comments in below. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'm super interested in hearing what you guys have to say, but nonetheless, I will catch you all on the next one. Peace out. Stay healthy, as always. Happy holidays, everybody.